I'm Ashley Marie and it's time for cake. The tutorial today is for this adorable Ninja Turtle's manhole cover. Let's get started. So I've already covered three boards with some gray fondant. Um, and now we're gonna cut out the design here. I'm gonna put this on top of our gray fondant. I'm gonna use a knife and very carefully rest the knife right um, just inside and then I'm gonna hold the knife in place and turn this and then just kind of let the turning do the work for me of getting this cut accurate. So now we have our perfect circle and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna hold my knife in place about mm, half an inch in and I'm going to uh, let it turn, let the turning do the work for me. So now we have our outside circle. Now I'm gonna take a picture of the logo that I have and put it next to me and I'm gonna kind of mark off where the logo should be, um, but backwards. Now the reason we're actually doing it backwards is because once we finished cutting everything out, we're actually going to stick it right onto the uh, cake plates and then flip it over so then it will be right side out. So. You can see I'm using my scriber needle to actually sketch everything before I cut it out. It's that same uh, old adage, you know, measure twice, cut once. And so I'm making sure that I'm happy with the placement, that it's centered, and that I've captured all of the details before I pick up that knife and cut right through it. So noticing the details like that the T's have angles across the top, that there's that point down the center between the M and the N, um, and stuff like that is really what's going to make your logo look super authentic and really great. So once you start cutting, you can go ahead and start weeding out the parts that we're not going to need, like the um, in between of the M's and the N's and next to the posts of the T's. Now we have our uh, backwards logo. Now you'll notice that I still kept these big portions of the gray in right here. And the reason that I did that is because now we need to make the great lines. And they're just two lines that alternate each direction. It's kind of like brick, so. Using my favorite tool again, I'm drawing a grid in those blank spaces along the top and bottom and next to the T's. And I'm making nice and even and symmetrical squares. Once I'm happy with the squares, I'm cutting little slivers in between and along the top of each of the squares to kind of space them out a little bit. And then I'm gonna cut little slivers again, right down the center of each of the squares, going from vertical, horizontal, vertical, horizontal, and that's creating that great grid that we're looking for in the back of our manhole cover. Now you can see I'm weeding as I go, meaning I'm taking away all the axis I don't need, but I found that by weeding as I go during this first uh, quarter of the circle, ended up accidentally moving some of those little rectangles that I didn't mean to. So for the rest of the circle, I actually ended up cutting it all first and then weeding at the very end and it was a little easier to do. So that's the way I suggest doing it for you guys. All right, so as you can see, the backwards logo, all the little blocks and the circle are all done. Now we wanna get all of this on this circle. You want to brush some of your uh, clear alcohol or clear vanilla uh, all over all this, but this is a lot of detail. So I'm actually just gonna brush this whole board because it'll be a lot faster. All right, so our board is uh, nice and wet. You can see it's all shiny. And uh, as that uh, alcohol evaporates, it's actually gonna leave the fondant nice and tacky and that's what's gonna make it stick. I'll flip this over and you can actually start to see where everything is all right so now we're going to peel this off oh. all right and there we have it don't forget to subscribe to see more cakes and leave a comment down below if you have a request. Thanks for watching.